How does he rate as a jumper, Cole? Pretty good, Phil, I would say. Pretty good. And there you see what an example. And he draws the cue ball back. What a shot that is from Mr. al -Qaedi. This is match nine of a possible 21 overall. The holy grail for both of these sides is to get to 11 points and to either reclaim or regain the Moscone Cup. But look at Jason Shaw. Who would have thought he could possibly miss a ball of that simplicity? OK, using the rest, but even so, that was highly surprising. I can't believe he's just missed that. That is absolutely incredible. He did call, but the tactical advantage very much with the USA powerhouse duo. It's OK from Earl, he's got the lock-up, so it's going to be a kick shot. Maybe he could jump over a couple of balls as well. There is a bit of a Let's gap there. jump stick. It's all right. Stop biting. Earl's just letting you know what he thinks of the jump stick. He's not a fan of this. He's a traditionalist, let's say. Modern-day pool player. Jumps over these balls at ease. But not today! OK, so the jump shot this time, Earl, has worked in your favour! You can try to get away here, it'd be good. Right there? Why can you only get here? Extension. This is the big thing, it's all about the right angle to get on this purple five. <laughs> Don't believe that's too clever, it's a little near the rail, and if it's dead straight, you can't go forward, it's gonna safe. have to come back. Is there a gap for is there a gap? You see the ball? Earl's concerned. Heard him say, can he see the ball? Moments like this, they're just massive. They was in such a good position. Big chance. Good oh, well done, David. Good shot. So he's played 28 matches fewer than Van Boning and won two more. Cubo was going close to the side. Is the one ball going to go in? It's not. It's been bumped. This could be the ultimate punishment for the previous rack. This one ball goes past the purple five. How's the pace? Yeah, the pace looks good. Can Europe? get a grip as they did last year when they won all five matches and pulled away. Cubo has got lost a little bit here. Cubo has got lost a little bit here. And just having a quick glance at the balls, the layout looks very kind. The green six will go into the left corner past the eight, so this is this is good news for USA. Safe, but SVB wanted to play the shot. It's a little close to his work. This is a, this is a nasty shot. This. Oh, SVB! What a shot he's played there. Oh, listen to the man.
it's a consistent with Shane Van Boning in terms of potting balls up and down the cushions. He's mustard. This is horrible as well. Four ball could end up sneaking out and leave a pot. It's no good. I don't believe it's good. I believe he's left the pot. <laughs> Maybe Earl thinks he's got him, I don't know. Everyone's having a good look. Inside, you're good. Come on, David. Seems to me as though there's enough of that pink four ball to hit to pot. In a little bit. Jason likes it, doesn't he? Where's the cue ball? The pockets never change, Phil. Inside. They're always there. Lucian, he's gone. It's a scratch fest. Yeah. Well, he's hooked. This is, ooh, this is nasty. Got to watch the brown seven. It's easy to hit the brown seven here. Yeah. Oh, it's missed a brown seven. That is a good kick. Let me tell you, Earl puts the fist up. He's put the fist up to the crowd, Phil. This is incredible, this rack. Everyone's kicking at the two ball. Someone's going to get away with one at some point. Well received by this crowd, not. Can they make a ball? Can they get a shot on the lowest ball? One ball's going close to the corner. Now, can they get the cue ball in between? I've never seen that like this. The pink four and the brown seven. If the cue ball can go through there and hit the rail exactly where Shane needs, he could pop this yellow one ball. Oh, lucky thing to be. Earl Strickland saying, I've never seen run like this. He said exactly the same thing on day one. It's remarkable, isn't it? 61 years of age and in the same week, he's seeing the, the worst run he's ever seen. I don't think that's really the case, is it? I was speaking to Earl yesterday. I was sat near the, uh, the the team chairs and I was having a chat with him after his match and he said, the problem is I've played this game too long. I've used all my luck. I've got to use skill now, he said. I was laughing my head off. He's kicking at this ball, I believe. He is. That was... That was unlike SVB. I'm not too sure that was the correct move, Shane. Unlike the crap I ever seen. Or does he play off the right edge? He's played off the edge, I don't blame him. That is a beautiful shot, but the man kicking the ball has been the luckiest player in this match, Jason Shaw. You can't keep getting lucky, you just can't. But can he find one more piece of good fortune? He's gonna kick two rails in behind the five. The eight ball might help as well. Could even pot the eight. What's he gonna leave? What's he gonna leave? He's gonna leave a shot, but folks, listen, this is not easy. These are the type of shots Earl Strickland now has started to miss as he's got a little older. This, this is gonna take some nerve, Phil. He's already missed a pink four in this rack. Shot he's played there. He's nearly going to.
get his pension and he's knocking them in, Phil. I didn't fancy him for that, you know, Phil. Showed a lot of heart there. Not out of the woods yet. He needs to just settle down. He's already missed an easy four in this rack. Right into the heart of the pocket. Shane, you've got to get Earl Strickland as best as you possibly can on this nine ball. Honor. Play your own shot, Shane. But get your buddy close to this. the noise will be deafening. There's a bit of an angle here, let me tell you. There is a bit more angle. Yeah! Yeah! Oh, the Pearl Strickland has played an unbelievable five. Fair play, 61 years of age, it's 5-4 USA. The name is Earl, but right now, he's the king of Las Vegas. The man has delivered. What a fairy tale story. 61 years of age. Redemption in Sin City. And the USA go 5 4 ahead. Will we look back on that match when the final ball is potted and say that, that was crucial? Both 1 1, lost 1. Now they're on their own. bit short there. Wanted it to come off the rail a little bit more. Shouldn't pose a problem though because it's quite a natural shot. Now this is more like the David Alcady we know. Yeah, he's a great champion this day. All of, all of Team Europe are champions. Yeah. Met with muted enthusiasm, that break had run out. Or he could play it two or three rails round the table. It's really whatever he prefers. You know, like the thing cut going around. So options here. It's how you feel in the moment. The good thing about playing the little Karen is that you're holding the seven in position quite well, the brown seven. He made sure of the eight there, I think, instead of getting too cute. Under pressure, two things you don't want. The cue ball close to the side cushion and a thin cut. <laughs> they just, they're so ticklish, aren't they? <laughs> he might play the bank here. Like a two-way shot, possibly. There we go, you see, the two-way shot, meaning that if he'd missed that seven, he would have got a snooker out of it. So it actually landed quite nicely for him. Great call, Alison. Now, will it be a great nine ball? Jason Shaw leaps down the stairs into the arena, delighted with that. Let's see if uh, Tyler can work out his break here and keep control of the table.
Well, that pesky phone is ringing again, and oh. It's just not working out for them, is it? Again, just by a hair, missed that side pocket. Not quite got the pace or the accuracy here. Let's watch that one ball, the yellow ball. So close. And he's given David another opportunity at the table. An open table. Marcel Lecard doing the right thing. Asking the crowd to turn off these mobile phones. They're ringing, and so for the USA are the alarm bells. He is hitting the ball very confidently. I feel like we're in for a quick victory here, don't you, Phil? You know, there's always a miss. A possibility in the Moscow Cup, but the way that Al Qaeda's played and the way he's controlled these racks, he's monopolised potting, hasn't he, so far? Yeah, he's really stamped his authority. He's, he's broken the balls well, they've spread perfectly, and it's just a nice situation when that happens. Oh, you see Tyler. Oh, Tyler stood up. You can see him in the background. Really disappointed there. That was a little teaser, wasn't it? A game of millimetres. There is no doubt, though, David Alcady is playing heroic pool. And it's just the speed he hit it at. If he hit it any harder, it wouldn't have dropped. Well, wow, look at that. That was, that was interesting because. Tyler played, a, you know, an OK safety. I'd expect David to have made that jump shot. And now it's given Tyler a chance to get the table and get warmed up a little bit here. Very unexpected. Yes, when the two goes in, it will be a eureka moment. It will be Tyler Steyer's first ball potted of the match. The way things are going, though, the rain in Spain falls mainly on Tyler Steyer. <laughs> He's not having a good run, is he? No, nothing easy. Great shot. Look at that crowd. Loving that. I do love a good jump shot, I have to say. A lot of people don't like the jumping, but it is an art in itself. And that came at the right time. Made the clearance of the purple five ball quite comfortably. Yeah, the equipment these days is incredible, what you can do. And look at that stroke. You know, he did that the other day in a doubles match in the final game. It was 4-4, and he came with that long draw stroke, and he made that look so smooth there. Lots of practice to get you a stroke like that. Lots of dedication. Yeah, the best form of Q power is the effortless version. <laughs> Certainly sweet to watch. Left himself a nice angle here on the green six ball to get back for the seven ball in the opposite corner. Shouldn't be any problems here. I like the way he composes himself before he gets down on the shot, doesn't rush into the shot. I'll tell you one thing about Steyer, he doesn't suffer from imposter syndrome. He believes he should be on this stage. Well, you know, Phil, if he doesn't believe it, you wouldn't want to be out there, right? You've got to believe in yourself. Certain players may say they do, and they don't. He does. He knows what he's capable of, and he's determined to do it. Can he pull off what would be a simply extraordinary comeback? There's still some ways to go. 
So the Europeans are getting a little loud now, aren't they, in the audience? There's the blue crew. Yep, the blue crew. It's great to see everyone travelling this far, isn't it? Well, after this shot, the cue ball's going to be a little close to the rail. He's just walking round to see where he wants to place it. Shouldn't pose a problem. Under this kind of pressure, you can never describe the shot as a certainty. In it goes, though. And once again, we have parity at the pool. El Matador took the ball by the horns and won a vital singles. It is 5-5. Nice shot. Everyone, Nicely done. Yeah, everyone's given a 30-second extension once per rack. Of course, that wouldn't have been used then. Nothing immediately clear here, Allison. Does he have to kick to the side rail, possibly, and try to come between the pink four and the brown seven? Yeah, this is very tricky, isn't it? He's looking at, can he go up, up and down there, see he's going up to the end rail. Might be a two railer, or he'll have to play a lot of left English on it to straighten the ball up. Let's see. Oh. oh, just missed it by a head. Just misjudged it very slightly. Giving Europeans ball in hand. That was a tough shot to hit, though. Jump it in. Little window into that aggression you were talking about. Filler immediately suggesting to jump it in. Yeah, there's probably more reward in that, isn't there? The, the way they, these two play and kicking at the ball. It's a sort of 50 50, isn't it? I, I think I would lean more with the jump here, too. The three ball's sitting a little tricky, isn't it? Yeah, that's what... I was just wondering if it went. It really doesn't look like it does. And that's not going to do it. Ball in hand for the Americans. Yeah. There was a little distance there. It was quite a little tricky to jump, just because of the distance before that. Having to land it on the table, kind of. You can see it was quite a distance before the five ball. And then you've got to get that cue ball to land in that short space there. It's not an easy thing to do, to negotiate. Well, has he left a combo or does it go around the back of that eight ball? I think it's a combo, maybe a high ball to play the three in the same pocket. This is a little dicey though, Alison. Yes, definitely, but I like Sky playing these shots. Oh, nicely played. Oh, uh, lovely there. Beautiful shot. He's, play he's such a great player, Sky Woodward, isn't he? Fantastic. To back MVPs at the Moscone. Strickland's going to try to get him a look at this seven. Let's a stroke out a bit. Is, is he okay? Nice, nice shot. Beautiful. That's a great oh, shot. Yeah, great. Terrific yeah. shot. Vintage Earl Strickland we're seeing now. The belief is coming back. Got a nice shot for yeah. Skyler here. I like that, Alison. The belief indeed is coming back, and frankly, Earl's played quite well. He has. Got some great teammates on his side. Yeah, 
That's perfect, though. State there from Earl. He had a perfect angle on. I wish it went all the way down the bottom rail. Bottom rail? Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, that was a giveaway rack, wasn't it? You'd be really disappointed with that. a short break girl will certainly be thinking about that eight on, ball guys. let's see what francisco chooses to do look out it's interesting it's okay. it's okay. Come on, i'm not sure is he trying to draw past the eight he might have been Depends. a bit in between he might have felt comfortable cueing it like that and knew if he nudged it, it would probably be okay, but mm. it did appear he tried to draw past it. Big shot here. Incredible. He's got one of the best shot makers in the world following him. However, he's come up a little bit short here. That slippery cloth that you've been alluding to just kind of grabbed. Slows that cue ball up off the second rail there. So it looks like they're going to play all in for this bank shot. Nine ball into the corner pocket. Let's go! Come on! Yes! Come on! Yes! Come on! That's how you get to be number one in the world, I suppose, wow, Alison. 3 1 Team Europe. In the heart of the pocket, too. There's no doubt about that shot. You never want to be straight in. Not unless you're on the nine, of course. <laughs> no, Skyler, no. No, hang on a second. Oh, Earl's saying no. We're all right, Earl. Come on, Earl, you got it. <laughs> he's, wow. He's not happy, but... Uh, he's got to really bear down now. It's a, it's a very tricky shot. He's got the cue elevated. Extension, extension bring it. So you see Skyler is just giving Earl a little bit more time, which was a good call on his part, I think. You need to compose yourself, slow down that heart rate, and just go all in to make this shot. Yes, great shot yes. from Earl. He nearly talked he himself out of it. Crowd, I, know. I think Skyler made a great call there in lifting Earl up off that shot. Good stroke there. That's a great point, Allison. Hang on, Earl doesn't like it, though. That's to slow down. Okay. Come on, Earl. Multi-world champion. Easily one of the best players of all time. Absolutely. It's a... It's right in. Tremendous shot. That's pumped up Skylar Woodward for sure. 3 2. to be super accurate on. He thought, you can tell by his face, he thought he hit it really well. But let's have a, another look at that five ball. Just overcut it, caught that jaw. You could see it very clearly there. Oh, that's okay. Yeah. Oh yeah, we do, that's right, I'm sorry. Slightly tricky positionally here. Let's see what route Skyler goes with. Yeah, he's looking at, you can see, thinning the 
five ball and play in the six in this top left corner pocket as we're looking at the screen. So. That was nicely played. That was well done there. Yeah, very well done. Sometimes when a ball is hanging in the hole, position is actually a little bit tricky. Very much so, especially with the sliding cloth. Kind of throws his cue down and discussed Earl. Yeah. Oh dear. I should have drew it. So that you're prepared for any situation that arises. Love that. Sanchez Ruiz set to break, found the top corner last time around for the cue ball, that is. You're up on the hill. So close. Incredible, Allison. Yes! I don't think they're very happy about that, do you? That's the second golden break we've seen in the event so far. Well, Earl a bit dejected. He'll have to shake it off for singles, and what a pivotal point that was. Europe now in the lead, six points to five. The golden break, nine in the side. And the European contingent has gone nuts here at Pauli's. Now the question remains, what's Earl going to do? Shane's walking out to console him and lift him up for the next match. So he has to figure out a way to get himself back to being calm and present. Indeed he does. Another look at it. The cue ball came across, just careened into the nine, and then it got a little love from the red three as well. Watch Filler's reaction. <laughs> yeah. They didn't really commit to the chest bump. The Filler was ready, but Sanchez really went more in for the hug. Yeah. Coach Lely there. He's yeah. a hugger. Yeah. What a big point it was. <laughs> I mean, forgive the heart, but 5-5 five, five gets no bigger than that. Europe back in the lead. The Michael Van Gerwen of darts, he's just got that natural ability. He just sees the shot, gets down and, and fires them in. It really is a, a platinum asset, not even a golden one. Now that's not going to settle you down. It wasn't easy. It's not a case of how's he missed that, but they just start to unnerve you. Can Earl capitalise? Played at a good tempo on day one, did Earl? I like the tempo he was playing at. Yeah, I mean when when I played in the Moscow, I was fortunate fortunate enough to play Earl in the singles. He was a little bit more volatile back then. No, he seems very calm this event. Cubo was running a little close to the side. Sometimes the jaw can get you, but it hasn't. He's okay. Can float the cue ball around for the nine in the same pocket. This looks good, Phil. Listen to the crowd. is the Earl Raw we've come to expect here at Bally's over the last three days. Oh, he's gone for the bank. And he's missed the bank. Been a bit fortunate, not left a pot. But again, at least it's back over to USA's side. Earl can play a good safety. Initially, Aushin seems shaky, and it's not very often we say things like that. that. Either. I should have ran out. 
extension. I should have ran out. He's got to go two rails, hasn't he? So he can't get to that rail. This is going to be hard to get safe. Well, he's resorted to the hit and hope. Is the sixth ball going to hold up enough? Well, it's a shot. I don't know if he can pop the six and avoid the nine ball, though. He's down quick. Well, he could fill. He's now back in prime location. looking happy Alban Aushan and you can understand why it's a very atypical start from the Austrian which is allowed he's 61 year old opponent to get this crowd roaring again What a pot that is! There's Billy the Banker Thorpe, dressed in very unusual attire again. No, it looks like it goes on the side, but we do know how tight these are. You've got to be careful. These have a tendency to pop back out. Mm, I think he's okay. It's more the angle he's concerned about, not the pot. I believe I did that. Extension. Extension, please. Yeah, he's just landed on a funny angle. He'd like to get the cue ball back out even to where it is now. That would do. He might have to play a little draw shot and just come a little to the left of where the cue ball is. Take his medicine. Turning point has come up. Big mistake. Unbelievable, I'll tell you right now. That ball could land there. He'll be back against the wall. And they'll be chasing and things just seem to become a little harder when it's like that. It's all about momentum. This is what we've said. Oh, great though. Cue ball's floating towards the side, and it's gone. What a turnaround. Earl Strickland was at the table. At two racks up. Had a wonderful chance in the last rack. Made a mess of it. Albin Olsen's got ball in hand to tie this one up. Throwing it into the favour of Europe, and now Europe are looking good. They'll look to kick on from here, won't they? Especially if they win this point, Phil. Yeah, he has to hold his break here in rack six. If he doesn't, and Aushin goes 4 2 ahead on the hill, Aushin has got two potential break offs from there. It's going from back. To worse for Earl the Pearl as the cue ball slides in the corner. Yeah, it was a bad break, you could see there. He's drawn the cue ball off the sides and straight into the corner, so it wasn't unlucky, it was just poorly hit. Sweet, didn't he, Phil? Really did. And there's the irony. 
It was a missed five ball down the rail, the opposite side rail for Earl Strickland that turned this around this match, but there was no error there. They sense what we sense. Europe might be getting a stranglehold. Yeah, the combination on the six was always there. He was just trying to hold the blue two ball for the right centre. The pink four doesn't look like it pots, so I'm, there's still a bit of hope here. He's looking at cutting this ball in the right centre. If he does, the cue ball will make contact with the eight ball. So he's trying to break the balls out. This could be the match right here. shot he's played there he's on the four ball the purple five nine is a combo this looks to be good enough for Albion Ocean he's one combo away Carl from a five spot five racks on the trot after being two nil down The Earl fairy tale, not quite there, was it? Albert Ocean, efficiency personified, kept his cool. He was 2 0 down, looking shaky, no doubt about that. But he wins 5 2, and now Europe, for the first time, have a two point advantage. It's Europe 7, USA 5. The one ball. Near the That'd five, and if he hits this thin enough, he may pot the nine ball. Yeah. Oh, this looks good. This looks good. What a shot from Woodward there to get things going. USA up 1-0, and this place is going absolutely insane. What a shot. Have another look at it, Carl. Beautiful, wasn't it? Couldn't hit that any sweeter. Unbelievable shot. Shane wants Skyler to get him underneath the brown seven on the bottom rail. This needs to slow down. Great shot. Yeah, that is a good shot because these tables are they're a bit dicey out there. They're going through this rack nicely. They know they've got plenty of experience. They know how big probably go to the rail. this match is. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Which one? Up to you. However you think you can hit it. Extension. It's great listening to him, isn't it? Whatever you like Scotch here. Doubles. Either way. Gives you the insight. Once the fans watching know what they're thinking, and often you hear the percentages. When I mean, Shane I like played with Earl, yeah. Yeah. they were slight disagreeing on every shot. It was yeah. pretty funny. So it doesn't go, Carl. It goes now, though. What a shot from Van Bucken. Can you believe that? That's incredible. That was so strong. Mess than it was. But maybe now there's a three ball combo instead of a two. Yep, seems they are playing for that, Carl. The three ball combination. Perhaps to be followed by a regular combination. Charles missed another ball in the pocket. He missed the red three earlier on today. The pocket has done him again. Oh, and we have, uh, there it is. <laughs> Not really sure what that is. <laughs> Come up a little bit short of the mark, maybe. Filler will have to use a touch of left hand spin. Get down for the pink four. Mark that one in your calendars. Joshua Filler has missed a hanger.
Wow. Well, he's had an off match filler, objectively. And now we've got six balls left. To make it 7-6. Just don't want to fool around with the black eight ball here en route from the pink four to the purple five. Really nicely done there. Perfect speed from SVB. Made that look easy. Just the four to go. He just wants to make sure he doesn't do anything silly, yeah. He's just making sure he comes back down the natural path, back down the center of the table. Where's the cue ball gonna finish? The standing ovation has begun already, Carl. There. A nice angle for Shane to hit the rail, slide out for the nine in the bottom left. a cue ball off a couple of rails, it's perfect, everyone's on the feet, this is madness! Not an empty seat in the house. With their backs against the wall, Carl. They couldn't have come up any bigger than Boning and Woodward. Such a familiar sight, Skyler pocketing a huge nine ball. What a huge match for the Americans, unbelievable stuff. Massive, massive point in the context of the 2022 Moscone Cup. It's Europe 7, USA 6. Very natural shot. You said a dream start for Jason here. He means business. That he does, Allison. One zero. And he missed it. Mm. Ouch, he hit that a little too thick. That is the tendency when you're cutting the ball. You know, if you walk around the table, it's very important to walk around the table and look at the back of the pocket and really see that when you're standing in front of the shot. Try to see exactly where in the pocket you need to hit, because it's a little deceptive sometimes. Yeah, that's a great insight. This is a little gift for Jason, making a nine to make it two to zero. I suppose drawing back to the end rail and out is an option? Yeah, I, I kind of like that too. Oh, beautiful. And I guess I guess Oscar likes it too. What a terrific shot. Fantastic there. So well executed and it's a lovely shot to see that. When it comes back with a bit of spin. He had a low right hand English on that. And even here he's just a touch straighter than you would like, but he'll follow to the bottom rail and out. 
Watch oh, the nine. Look at this. Look, the spin. Oh, it's gorgeous. Beautiful. He's feeling it, isn't he? He's at one with the table. Two really well executed shots. So composed. Very composed, very experienced. Been in a lot of different high pressure pool situations. They're showing a lot of grit and determination today, Team USA. And it started with that first match of the day with Shane Van Bonen and Old Strickland. Shane on his 100th match in the Moscone Cup. And I think that really sets some momentum for the team. Oh, what a nice Look shot that. here. Look at that. Nice and calm, keeping cool. Not really involved with the crowd until after that nine ball goes down. They're on their feet. It's all tied up, 2-2. Two, two. That's nicely done there. One straight in the side. Two hangs up beautifully, Allison. I don't think Oscar will be getting back to the table in this match. What do you think? There's really just no issues at all for the Scott, one of the great Moscone Cup players ever, Shaw. This has been a really great day for the Moscone Cup. Day three is usually very pivotal, and it's still pretty close, no matter what happens here. Absolutely. And leading into the final day, we go into all our single matches, so that's very exciting, I think, for the players. They get to really show their stuff. Beautifully negotiated. He's looking very good. Yeah, he's played a great match here when they needed him most. Yes, here he goes. Here he goes. Sell down. <laughs> Such a familiar sight. Jason loves it. He loves this arena. Look at this. Yeah. Extension. The Europeans extension. are flooding the rail, by the way. Make sure to get that extension in, pal. The Americans oh, are him. sick. Oh, dear. Come on. Wow, the European rail right now. This is what this tournament does to you, this sheer emotion in it. <laughs> what a player. It brings out something you, no other tournament brings out. 8-6. The Europeans in the lead. As you said, Allison, it's going to be a tremendous final day tomorrow. It was a tremendous day today. Can't wait for this thing to close. I'm just a bit. Wow. Thank you for joining us. What an end to the day. I don't think that's going to stop celebrating, but it, there's plenty of Moscone Cup to go, isn't there? Indeed there is. They better not celebrate too hard tonight. Make sure to come back tomorrow.